Hey everyone, welcome, uh, welcome back to Fromania. I told you that we were making a shift to Lego content, and if you can't tell by my demeanor right now, it's not off to a great start, guys. Our Lego content journey is off to a, a shaky start, to say the least. I have always loved the Simpsons Lego sets, which is wild because we're not Simpsons fans. In fact, up until a couple of weeks ago, I'd never even seen one Simpsons episode. Now we've seen a few, we're part way into season two. But what got me watching Simpsons is the Simpsons Quickie Mart Lego. It's a Lego set that came out several years ago. It's one I always wanted and I could just never bring it to myself to buy it because I wasn't a Simpsons fan. But we were in Bricks and Minifigs the other day and they had the Simpsons Quickie Mart sitting in there on a shelf, half built, half of the set was still in bags and I couldn't resist, I had to buy it. So we went home with the Simpsons Quickie Mart. But you can't get just the Quickie Mart without getting the house as well. And that's where things went terribly sideways. Didn't really have the budget to buy a house, so I started scouring the internet webs to try and find a Lego Simpsons house that I could afford. I knew it was gonna be a used set, I knew it probably wasn't gonna be 100% complete. And we found the perfect one on Facebook. It was partially broken, it was in bags, there was no guarantee that all of the pieces were there. So I threw out an offer. Amazingly, they accepted it. I was so excited. I knew I was finally gonna get the Simpsons house, and now I had the Quickie Mart, and now I'm, I guess I'm a Simpsons fan. We open it up and they had put the set just kind of loosely assembled into the box. So now it was a pile of shrapnel, which is okay. I was gonna break it apart and rebuild it anyway. I knew we had a Lego collection that would allow us to replace the pieces that were missing. But what I didn't expect, as I leaned into the box to see what was in it, the horror, the shock, the sheer inhumanity of it, there was no Lego imprint on the pieces. That's right, we received a reproduction Lego set. Now I don't know if this is Lepin or if it's from AliExpress or where it's from, but my Lego Simpsons house is not authentic. It's not real Lego. Now we're ones to give the benefit of the doubt, right? This Facebook seller looked like just a mom who was just cleaning out their family's toys. And I assumed she just didn't know. So I'm like, fine, I will message this lady and I'll just let her know, hey, this is not real. I just wanna send it back to you and get the money back. And I'll put the message up for you guys to see. Super kind message, right? We're not into just blowing up and getting angry. Life's too short for that to happen. But I was given the benefit of the doubt. I thought, man, she is, she's gonna feel bad about this and she's gonna be like, sure, send it back. As you can guess by me sitting here with this look on my face, I know it's not how I look every day, with this look on my face, we got blocked. She blocked us on Facebook and she deleted the listing so that there would be no proof out there, no evidence out there that this was marketed as a real Lego. Thankfully, I thought in advance. As soon as I realized it was not authentic Lego, I screenshotted the listing. Now we did do something wise. We use PayPal, so there is buyer protection. And we have started the process now of opening a claim to try and reclaim our money on our fake Lego Simpsons house that is partially assembled and falling apart. So hopefully that part of the story ends well. It's left me though hunting down and now wanting a Lego Simpsons house more than I wanted it before because I had it and then I didn't have it, and now it's here, but it's not here because it's fake. So I've been on eBay scouring the internet webs to find an authentic Lego Simpsons house, and we found one. We ordered it, oh, I don't know, it was maybe last Wednesday or Thursday. Finally sealed the deal, won an auction, and it still hasn't shipped yet. No tracking number, we are now on Sunday, so what is that, like two weeks after, and no tracking number, so I am, patiently, eagerly, 
excitedly waiting to see if we're finally going to end, look at that. See if we're finally gonna end our Lego saga. Uh, it was cool to see this, here's the deal, it was completely demolished and I wasn't even willing to build this fake thing. This fake thing, like I don't even wanna touch the bricks. I feel like I am uh, committing a cardinal sin against Legodom by touching these bricks. Um, so Caleb stepped in and he built it as far as he could get it. Uh, he put it together, got it to this point. There's a lot of missing Lego. A lot of missing weapon, a lot of missing knockoff. Well, I don't even know, a lot of missing brick. And we didn't wanna keep incorporating real Lego into this. So we just stopped and this is where it sits at, as is. It's kind of fun to see. I'm trying to not study it too much because I really want to enjoy the real one when it comes. So this is where we're at. This is the set as it sits now. Caleb, what was it like building with these Leppin bricks? Could you tell much of a difference? So um, I will say Lego has incredibly fragile brown pieces. And the weapon is absolutely not that way. They don't break. So they the weapon pieces don't break. Look at this. Look at the flex and give. So whatever Lego did on their brown brick recipe, Leppin didn't do that. No, the um, Lego finally fixed it, but it was an enjoyable build. Just the, all the different references is cool because now we've seen a few episodes. So like as you were building with Leppin, could you tell, like did the pieces feel different? Did they lock together different? Like what was your building experience? I mean, it looks pretty good. The fitment is a little bit different, but I mean, it looks like the pieces are the exact same. There's no like different pieces that aren't Lego. Does like, it feel the same? Like when I feel it, it even feels a little flimsier than yeah. Lego. Like it doesn't feel as light. Even when you compare the two cars, like the Quickie Mart car and Marge's car, there's a markedly different weight in them. And I know there's a few extra elements on this, but they're similar construction. But this one, feel the difference. Feel how heavy that car is versus that car. Oh, there's, oh yeah, I can totally. So it's a much lighter brick, this Leppin is. So it's a much different brick. Hopefully we're gonna get to build the real house soon. Mm -hmm. So really part of our sharing this video is to share our story on Lego, but part of it is to say, be safe out there. If you are anything like us, we, we're procuring a lot of older Legos and we're a lot of used sets because as fun as it is unpackaging everything, it's the same product even after it's sat for a couple of years. So you can still pick it up, you can still rebuild it, you can still enjoy the experience, and on newer sets, you can get a pretty good discount if you're buying a used set. But we have also discovered now that it's not necessarily 100% safe and foolproof. Micah buys a lot of minifigs off of eBay and he looks at a lot of used sets. In fact, he just picked up the Star Wars Gungan sub and that was released when? 2012. 2012, and he found one and he did all of his due diligence to make sure this thing was legit. The due diligence that dad should have done in buying my Lego Simpsons house. One thing that I learned, and I'm gonna let Micah share a few tips too, was, was right off the bat, as soon as I had this experience, every single used set I was looking at, I'm zooming in on the picture to look and see if there's a Lego imprint on all of the studs. Because on authentic Lego, every single stud has Lego imprinted on it. Now what I noticed is if you're on eBay or on Facebook, the lighter colors, it kind of washes out and you can't see it anyway. But a lot of the darker colors, even in the photos, you'll be able to see are there imprints on here? Micah, what are some of the things you look for? You look at lots of pictures. You get an idea of what the thing is supposed to look like, and you check versus tons of different source material to make sure you're getting the legit thing. If you're worried about the seller, if they don't have much feedback, ask for more pictures. If they can send you pictures, especially on the backdrop that their listing photos were taken, it can give you some more confidence. And yeah, to make sure they even actually own the product because we did have another Lego that we ordered off of Mercari that the person yeah. stole the pictures from eBay and didn't even have what they were trying mm -hmm. to sell him. And we were able to uncover that when we saw the same picture. So if you're asking for more pictures, you know, okay, they have it. Another thing that helps is, is if they have an authentic Lego instruction booklet, 
chances are it's an authentic Lego set as well, because not a lot of people are just laying around with Aleppin or AliExpress Lego with the authentic Lego books. Now, could someone try and scam you even that way? Sure. But hopefully that's not the reality. So if you're checking the studs, if you're asking for a lot of pictures, if you know the market, if it's too good of a price, it's probably too good of a deal. If you're adding all of these things up, you can be sure that you're probably safe, that you're not going to find yourself with a Lego Leppin Simpsons house. So we want you to be safe. And you know what? If you get scammed, be sure that you're using outlets and using sources that have buyer protection. Right? If you're on eBay, process the transaction through eBay. Don't go offline. If you're buying off of Facebook Marketplace and you can't see the Lego in person, be sure you use PayPal, but use it as a business or service and not as I'm sending you the money person to person. That way you get buyer protection so that hopefully if things go wrong, you'll be protected. And at the end of the day, just be calm. Just be cool about it. To us, it's frustrating that we got scammed, but things happen, right? It's not worth getting so irate and so angry that we belittle other people. I haven't sent one mean message to this other person, despite everything within me wanting to do it. In fact, I even, on the things that I showed you guys, blocked out the name because I'm not out to destroy another human. It's just bricks at the end of the day. It's just plastic and maybe that person needed that $200. Whatever it was. It's frustrating for us. I don't want to minimize that, but I want to say some things just aren't worth it. So it's best for us just to protect ourselves, to be sure we're doing our due diligence, to be sure that we're authenticating things so that we don't find ourselves in this position again. Now we hope that the real Lego Simpsons house comes soon and that we get to build it and we get to enjoy it. And if we do, we'll do a full review on it for you. But that was our Lego scam experience. We hope that you can learn from what we walk through to protect you when you're out there buying and selling used Lego as well. If you're selling anything, don't take offense if someone asks for other pictures or for things to authenticate it. They're just trying to make sure they are safe as well. Micah, I think we need to do a review on this Gungan sub really yeah. soon too because it's an epic, epic set. So that's what we had for you guys today. Remember, some things just aren't worth the anger. They're not worth the resentment. They're not worth eating our soul up over them. Just be safe. Be wise out there shopping. You don't have to uh, experience what we did, and we've learned how to stay safe along the way. But whatever you do, go out there, continue to give more, do more, share more, love more. Whatever you do, remember to buy authentic Lego, not Leppin. And always show your smile. Cause it's contagious. One thing, in my opinion of this Sleppin set. Yeah, that's what I think of it. I'm kidding, I'm not gonna do it.